Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. And we back to right? Yep, first, first time. All right, so we're recording. Woo woo. Yeah, welcome yeah, back, yeah. everyone. Happy welcome Tuesday, back. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever day you're listening to Talk this. Shatters are back. Okay. Brrrat. Let me stop. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm, okay. Anyways, um, we talking fuckery already. Um, I've decided on something like a structure. Something like a structure for the show. Okay. I want to do a good gal of the week first thing in, or we could okay. do a look of fuckery first. But before we get into all the depressing and otherwise unpleasant shit, okay. I want to do a good gal of the week, of the week. so that it's okay. not like, uh, but yeah. But anyways, you telling people how we met? What happened now? Man, I was in my phone and I seen that there was a Janae file, pointless file. And I'm like, oh, she's so special. I get full of anyway. <laughs> um, because, you know, they already pick up people face and be like, mm-hmm. is this someone such bitch? What? No. All right. So I'm looking at our picture, our first picture ever, ever in life together. Young. Jesus. And it was just like how gay this bitch was. Because, like, I was, it was pride. <laughs> what was that? 2011? Something so. Something 2010, 2011, one of them two, and we was on a pier, and like she came up in New York for those who don't know. Okay, NYC Pride, of course, at Mm -hmm. the pier for those who know, no, and grabbed my ass, and I was like, yo, and then I seen it was this (laughs) mother effer in her rainbow (laughs) recruiter shirt, and I was like, oh nigga, with her whistle, I love that shirt. You and this Pride whistle, every Pride you got a whistle. Yes, yes, I have to make noise. Oh, have to. Yeah, Mm -hmm. so real cute, cute moments. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. not, like, how we met, met guys. Like, I don't want you to think she was just, like, a stranger stranger. Yeah, nah, that's just came up and grabbed. We <laughs> had been in, you know, correspondence and talking and shit. We knew of each other and knew shit. It was just like, hey, we meeting up here. Boom. Yeah. And shout out to Fia and the Blue Top. Okay. Oh, my God. Fia and the Blue Top. Jesus. Listen, Fia had me in the <laughs> depths of my, uh, what you call it, metro rail fucking underground shit doing from train to train to do. I'm like. What just, where the hell are we going? <laughs> Listen, That's my pride was pride. And that damn blue top. And then, of course, of course, the whole subway system is packed with all these gay people. Dog. So everybody's going to pride. Oh, Listen. dog. That's when you can get on the train. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you know you got to walk blocks to get oh, yeah. on and off that bitch. So. We used to go at a decent time, though. Not like at the height of it. Like when it just started, when everybody decided they want to go. We used to kind of straggle in. we even realized the big truck and all that. Mm-hmm. That's before. That's when we used to just start yeah. straight walking and straying into the pier. Like mm-hmm. that was the goal. Now we do big truck, big up big truck. I don't even know if they're doing this. Listen, year, big up all that. That was the first time I had a nutcracker, a nutty, whatever the hell they want to call first that. Time? Shit. That was your first time. Yes, because I had yeah because I left New York when I was a kid, and that's then true. like that's true. When I went back to party, it was like at nighttime. Yeah, it you ain't like grab the nutty, the... right? Yeah, <laughs> like. I was like partying with like my niggas at the clubs and like whatever. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like you know daytime barbecue shit or nothing like that. So I was she was my like, when I was sneaking away and shit. Of course, she was like, "You want a nutty?" I said, "A what?" Yes, sir. <laughs> she, I, she showed me. I was like, "What is this?" She was like, "It's and so it's, good." And I was it's like, the wildest shit. We're getting nutties from people we don't know, bruh. Being made of we don't what we don't, bruh, we don't know what it's probably ever clearing that shit. That? But here you we be are. Don't worry. Smacked. You don't okay. even care. You don't even care. But It'd be see, such a vibe. It's just the vibe. The thing about that, though, that I think about, like, back then, too, like, this was, what, 10 years ago? 10, 11 years ago? Yeah. Like, oh, gosh. Oh, yes. <laughs> 11 years ago. Oh, wow. Okay, go. So, <laughs> I'm thinking about, like, yeah, we had drugs and shit like that, but it wasn't right. like nobody was doing anything with the malicious intent that people are doing shit today. Because mm-hmm. niggas be trying to, like, take niggas out for no reason. Like, for what? For what? For what? But yeah, man, we was out here buying nutties, niggas on the side of the street with they cooler with they nutties in there, you know. Listen, back in the day, there was no fent, nothing, yeah, no fent none of that. nor fentanyl. Mm-mm. There was none no of that fenty. going on back in our day. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a little wild. I don't we know. Sound now, old? I mean, would, but would I still go to the city and go to the pier and get a nutty? Yeah, yeah. I'm still gonna give me a nutty. I ain't gonna hold yeah. you. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's kind of like part of the the thing it's like it's part of the experience the vibes when you up when you went and why for pride like it's mm-hmm. for those who don't know what that is it's literally just like a frozen like 
rum punch or like whatever yep. punch jungle juice. jungle juice hunch punch whatever the hell yeah. y'all call it like it's frozen liquor juice <laughs> that's, that's it no it's and about to hit when the sun hit boy yeah why let me tell you <laughs> And it's in, what is it, like the 25 cent juice from back in the day, the yes, little chubby bottles, bottles with the little foil yes, top. The carrot yeah. juice um, buckle. Yeah. Plastic one. <laughs> that looked like a little grenade. Yeah. That one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, when you get the mini joint, when he little. Yeah. Little, no, I be yeah, they got the, the big ones too. Yeah, the carrot juice one. one. Yeah, the carrot juice the one. Little ones ain't go, the little ones ain't going to help me. Child. Mm mm. Usually my ass don't be eaten until later. So but this that is little the thing. one. This is exactly it. You get out there. The thing is, for pride, you be out there all hot day. Hot. Then, Sun hot. Yo, if you've never experienced New York City summer, it hot in a different way. But it's so glorious. Yes. Yeah, it's a vibe. <laughs> if you're in yes. the right places at the right time. Yes. But, with the right people. But yeah, it'd be hot though. Well, you differently. Think, yo, and we just be drinking, no yeah. food. And then my mm-hmm. thing is, back in the day when you used to go to the pier, then you would have to go back to wherever the hell you getting mm-hmm. dressed at, try to eat. While make sure you bathe. Ready, then to make sure to try and go out and get where you got to get by Sunday night. Because you got to go to the finale. Summer Ono, carry on, like I said, it's carnival and Ono don't bed. Bro, I seen heads go straight from the pier, be at the pier till like 8. And then try to be up in somebody party right yeah, after. Yeah, in like, Hell's no Kitchen, we smelled change, them. Nothing. Oh no, HK, dog. Oh, you bringing it back? You talking? Yeah, ooh, that's like twenty twenty twelve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smell what moldy. Time to be alive. I'm green. What just time nasty. Go beard. We just reminiscing. <laughs> <laughs> time, dog. Yo. Oh gosh, but yes. So. Random little tidbit. Go, y'all. Y'all learn something. Um, For real. But, <laughs> um, so, good girl of the week this week. Um, this is so gay. And I'm about to, like, fangirl over family. But it's my cousin, um, Melissa. Okay. Um, her birthday was Saturday. And happy I belated. was... Happy belated. And I was... Thinking about, um, because she got interviewed for a podcast, right? The Atlanta okay. podcast. And I was listening to the episode. And, like, it no, just, like... To. Mm-hmm. It's called um, the Atlanta podcast. Yeah, the okay. Atlanta podcast. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So, I was listening to it, and it just brought back like she's talking about like her journey, like how she got from like being a little artist in um, Miami to like being the CMO of the Atlanta Hawks or whatever. And I was just like wow. listening to yeah, because. And on top of that, she has a book from Ball Girl to CMO. Like, it's a yeah, bunch of shit. Like inspiration station, son. Okay, then. So, you see where I'm going with this. Good, yeah. So, when I was... when I what, what year was that? I'm not going to tell y'all what year that was. But when I was, <laughs> when I was 11, we moved to Florida. And we were living with her... Um, Seven years ago. Her mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With her mom. And she was away at college at the time. So I don't think I like actually met her until she came back from college, like came home to visit from college. Mm-hmm. And she's technically not my cousin. She's my second cousin. She's my mom's cousin. Oh, one of those. We so, love those. Though. Yeah. Yeah. But she's only like nine years older than me, which is closer to me than she is to my mom's age. Trust so. me. I, <laughs> you know, we got them. Yeah. So it was like, oh, my big cousin's coming home from college. Like, I'm excited. And then like, you know, it was cool because like. Me, um, me and my brother were sharing a room at the time, and then she like came and she was like, afterwards she was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be out, so you can have a room. Like she was done with college, she was like whatever. I think she went to England and she was gonna introduce me to like the gorillas and what was his name, the um Craig not David. The gorillas for real? Yes, yeah. She well not like meeting them, but like the music. Like okay, meeting, got you. Yeah. I was about to say the, the like for real. For Girl, no, I wish, <laughs> bitch. What? <laughs> Listen, I'd be like, oh my god. Listen but, to them. <laughs> And like Craig David and stuff, and like whatever, because she had did like a study abroad oh, program in England and whatever. I love Craig David. Listen, okay. okay? Listen. Mm. So mm-hmm. it was just a bunch of shit, and then she was like, "You can have the room or whatever." I was obsessed with her room because she's an artist. Oh, like, oh. she. It wasn't even like anything. No offense, nothing spectacular. It was just like damn. The door, no, the door You're to her bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I made listen that room turned into my room really quickly. I had posters all over that bitch, but the door had Check like the magazine. art. Yes, yes, <laughs> had um some artwork that she drew on her door. Like she, everything was like she drew all over the door. Like I, the door was like 
custom made basically because everything like the whole thing from top to bottom was just different pieces of art yes she had like um egyptian letters that spelled her name going on the middle and then she had like some scenery on one side it's like a bunch of different things that she drew because she did mostly like abstract painting and like black um i'll show you some of her stuff but like really Mm -hmm. vibrant colors like shit i was just like oh my god and i felt like at that time she was the first person in my family that i felt like shared creativity with like with it was just like yeah like it was like oh shit somebody else in this motherfucker sees colors like as vividly as i do you know what i'm saying like i've never actually expressed this to her so she probably won't listen to this and be like bitch what (laughs) but um if she listens to this uh, listen don't don't listen to no other episode okay (laughs) oh shit but um Yikes. but no and then like other than that it was like grandma because grandma did all the creative stuff sewing stitching like whatever crafting whatever that was grandma on dad's side so i was like oh shit we got this on mom's side too bet so right. um so yeah so i was listening to the podcast and i was listening to like her journey and everything and i was just like bro when i was like 13 14 this was like my legit role model i think i even wrote a freaking homework assignment about her being my role model and yeah it was so gay (laughs) and i was just like oh my gosh like i really fuck with this thing like for real for real and like i remember one time specifically she because she used to go walking in the mornings at the park Mm -hmm. and I legit one one morning she came and she was like, You wanna go walking with me? I ain't never took a shower that fast in my life. Okay. No, no. Oh, I cute. jumped up and like ran and got dressed. And she was like, damn. She was like, that was quick. And I was like, oh, I'm ready. Shit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are we going? We're gonna go walk? Okay, cool. Let's go. Like Got a blast. I was lit. Yeah. So to present day, um, like I said, she is the chief marketing officer for the Atlanta Hawks. Um okay. she's Belizean and Jamaican. Her mom's from Belize and her dad's my uncle. He's Jamaican. And um, her birthday was this weekend. We went to um, what you call it? Demolition crew event. We're not going to talk about whatever happened, but that shit was lit. I I understand why she made such a big deal about it. That shit was lit. It's Freeze International, though. Freeze usually throws a good part. It was Freeze thing? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of different characters were out that night. Yeah, and holy pa people did that. Stories. I was like, oh, look at this. Look who's here. <laughs> yeah, holy pa, holy pa things that I go under there. But yeah. um, but yeah, the event was lit, and like that was my first time actually like partying with her, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm partying with an actual relative, like a blood relative. I don't be partying with these niggas I'm related to, mm-hmm. like at all. <laughs> well, like if we at like a family I function, can't. sure, can't. Can't but like relate. going out and partying with y'all niggas, like I can't relate, y'all. I know because because y'all be lit. Yeah, we do. Because <laughs> y'all be lit. Big up the gang. Listen, keep in mind, my mom is an only child, so if I'm hanging oh, out with yeah. any other family members, it's gonna yeah. be her cousins, and all of them are oh. like forty plus. I just be out here with this big ass family, right? Uh-huh. It's like humongous. Mm-hmm. Damn. Big up the gang, though. Big up the home. And then though. also, <laughs> on my dad's side, mm-hmm. me and my brother are the youngest, basically of. Uh, the cousins because everybody else again their kids are our age so like my cousins my actual cousins like first cousins are like 40s 50s and their kids are late 20s early 30s like me so it's like yeah and we have everything like some 90, mm-hmm. 80, 70, 60, 50. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, one of my aunts, I think, is like 80 something years old. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, I guarantee you, right? Like, well, let me see. An aunt, though? An aunt? Mm-hmm. Damn, mm-hmm. for real? I think my aunts are like, you know, they're like in their 50s going mm-hmm. up. Or just like 50. Oh, yeah, no. My Some dad, my dad is one of the youngest of nine. And, yeah. but see, oh, you have nine too, right? Nine. Yeah. Nine. So nine, mm-hmm. and then your mom is just one? Just she one. Oh, my goodness. Well, mm-hmm. you know your mom, she took the cake. <laughs> she got enough personality for everybody. I was about to say, for like 10 different people. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, nine. So majority of it mm-hmm. is over there. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Not that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But shout out to Melissa. Um, Big up yourself, Melissa. Um, What you call it? Yeah, like she dope as fuck like as far as like artwork and like being creative i think the episode is called too creative on the atlanta podcast okay and that shit is hilarious because i'm like wow mm-hmm. um but 
yeah, that's my good y'all of the week, you know. Happy belated Big birthday. Up yourself. And all so yeah. Um, let's go into this week's topics. Do I don't want to. Me no want do it neither. What we has can been stop happening? it right here. We can stop it. We can cut it off right now. Like, stop playing with me. Like, well, I don't want to. <laughs> Listen, like, it's going to be a nice 15-minute episode. They're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, real nice and smooth. Like, a snippet, my nigga. Um, wow. Uh, um, mind you guys, today is Tuesday. Okay, mm-hmm. at 9.26 p.m. Okay. Now drink my tequila. I am drinking cran apple juice. If you know, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And All right. my herbs. But, oh, um, Hold on, before we get into fuckery. Oh, shit. One time, I know I keep shouting it out, but I feel like every other day or every week or every month or I just keep seeing black women uprooting and moving to different cities, states, countries on their own with a partner, like seemingly on their own. And I just want to say, shame. who Jesus? I just want to mm. say shout out to y'all. Shout out to us because this world we live in is shit. It's scary enough as it is to live where you know people, but to like uproot and move somewhere where you're not like, you don't have like your regular everyday people or whatever. Like, uh, shout out to y'all. If you feel like you want to quit that job, girl, quit that job. But mm-hmm. make sure you have something lined sure up you first. Can afford it, please. Yes, make, make sure you have to quit your job. a fallback plan, some savings, a sponsor, a parent, girl, whoever. I want to say about these people job job, but look. listen. So if you can do it and you're just afraid of change and that's the only thing stopping you, quit that job. Yep. Quit it. Pack up your shit and move to where your heart desires. Like, if you can do it, do it. Don't let fear stop you if you actually, like, have the capability to do it. Like, just fuck it. Do it. And shout out to the ones that have done it. Mm-hmm. Because who child? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... So we're going into it now. <sighs> what you got to say? What you got to say? Come on. You saw that the lion bite off the man finger at the zoo? Let's not friggin' do this. <laughs> and I've seen the picture of how it looked. Have you seen that? No. I didn't even watch the video. I saw a clip of it and like it's starting and I was like, oh, nope. He, has I'm way, good. he still has way more finger than I thought he was going to have. Oh, it just I'll just really look looks a piece like he tip. tore the skin off really more than everything. And probably oh. got a piece of the tip. Oh, he probably right? pulled his finger back fast. Yeah, because it's definitely some of the finger mm-hmm. there. I thought he was going to have a nub. Like, oh, shit. Hope Zoo <laughs> made sure they, they released a statement saying that did not happen at Hope Zoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It wasn't but, us. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, <sighs> I don't want to avoid it, so I'm going to just go. Okay? So, SIP to those kids mm. from earlier today. Um, Literally. I don't even wanna, y'all know, so let's not do this. Some 18-year-old, 18, 18 right? Mm-hmm. Some little idiot decided he wanted to go into a school and shoot up these kids and a teacher, Well, right? yes. Go I ahead. saw that it was, um, where is that? I took a, I started reading it. Um, apparently he was in a firefight with Border Patrol and ran into the school and barricaded himself there imagine so it wasn't even like he went in there to shoot up the kids or whatever he was trying to avoid border patrol so i'm trying to think now like is he like mexican i can't even because because his name is salvador about to turn this thing into a salvador roma this about to be a border control you know this right a border patrol shit this is gonna be some shit yeah (sighs) fantastic thank you for the extra details though yeah but no not okay either way it goes why <laughs> like, you not to a school okay. of all places like you couldn't like go to a park <laughs> not even like just shoot yourself shoot yourself basically is what i was gonna say i'm gonna be like is that a little rough he could have just offed himself no really. like you just you don't want to get arrested just off yourself like why you gotta Honestly. take in this elementary school little niggas elementary school you what like 10 years old when you leave elementary yes listen i I feel for those parents and family because like i always say parents should not be burying their kids no way and ain't no way in hell you can't just bring like have your child go to school like a child is supposed to go to school and not and and have to think about like oh am i are they gonna be there when it's time for me to go pick them up 
like are they gonna come home tonight like that shit is weird like yeah you know i don't know I yeah hate it. i'm i hate it i don't know what to say because mm-hmm. this is like the millionth one <laughs> so i don't know what to say and then on top of that he got killed by the police so it's like ain't no justice like he's dead so it's like mm, whatever 14 kids right yeah 14 elementary school kids and one and teacher. a teacher mm-hmm. well, I, mean, I, know. I don't know that i don't know Mm-mm. Mm-mm. i saw that earlier when you had text me it's like oh did you see and i was like what literally as soon as i opened up instagram is the first thing that popped up i was oh, like man. i was like nah yeah, i started reading it and i was just water. like immediately america need holy water immediately yes it's definitely america you still have the stats pulled up for the shootings worldwide or whatever because um and i have it pull up but i can't pull it up that okay. don't make no sense like i knew it was going to be wild but like <laughs> Okay, We're not even halfway so through the year yet. School shootings by country, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so United States, of course, at the head. <laughs> 288. 288. Mexico is second with eight. Do you see what kind of gap that is? <laughs> That's not even funny. Do you see what kind of gap that what is? What are you then doing in schools? Like, why y'all shooting South up schools? Africa is six. And, you know, it's probably because the Watts is there. Um, Then you got India. <laughs> Then you got Nigeria, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Canada, France, Brazil. And they're all like four, three, two. And then after that, it's like the rest, and they have like one. And America have 288. 288. Do y'all realize that it's 288 separate incidents from January 1st until today, May 24th? We are not fully halfway through the year. Like, we haven't, like, Like, what? That's, yo. That's, yeah, there really hasn't been that many days in the year yet. (sighs) Yo. Listen, let me make sure I'm going to fix my passport situation, yeah? Because when it's time to cut. I'm telling you, my shit ready and good to go. And let's go, like, tighten that up and let's be out. I'm... I'm ready to whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever like, it is. I don't care at this point. I'm Listen, always I, ready to I just I had, be like, fuck this country. If I had, not if I have, when I have my, when I have the funds, like private island me, something is definitely giving. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm gonna make sure my shit is right and tight and fixed up. So mm-hmm. I, I just got to get out of here. I don't know. It's too much. It's like every day, like the shit just happened like the other day. These poor mm-hmm. people probably not even gr- in the ground yet. And now here goes this shit. Like, and babies? Come on. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And the one last week, the one last week with a guy down the street from my job who went into the um steakhouse the, the and got shot. Guy. Yes. His mom, oh my gosh, his mom on camera talking about that. it. And I'm just like, but honestly, the police responded when they were called. This could have been avoided. If they sent somebody mm-hmm. out there who wasn't racist and trained, this would have been avoided. Like, you always say you can shoot that nigga in the ankle. We said that. Shoot too. him in the foot. Yeah, we said that. So you could shoot him anywhere else. Kneecap. Listen, shoot him in the kneecap. He would have been great. He ain't moving. Fact. <laughs> like, you could have shot him anywhere. You just down and I always out. say that when it comes to shit like that. But they don't. Yeah, so whatever. He, but he shot one of them, ain't it? He shot the security not guard. But, not to say but, but he shot yeah. someone, right? Mm-hmm. The um security guard. Ah. Yeah, because t- because the security guard tackled him. Ah. I see. No, the security guard didn't die. Okay. Well, oh, damn. The same way how he shot the security guard, the security guard didn't dead, the police them could have shoot him so in the dead. Like. This is true. You know but, where we live at. Stop playing. Yeah, I know. Um, any excuse, literally. Any, any, anyone. Just pick one. Um. So, Brittany Griner. Who? No, I'm playing. Let me you stop. Silly. I'm about to um, been gone so damn long. Wait a minute. So apparently, the United States government has offered Russia a prisoner swap. Dead ass. Like what? In exchange of right her. Now? We're in a movie, my nigga. <laughs> Brittany Griner for convicted arms dealer Victor Bout. Yes. According to Forbes. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So y'all really don't want this guy then, the, the convicted arms dealer. Y'all really don't need him for nothing because you know they're going to send him over there and he's going to be a free man. <laughs> this is what a simulation, y- yo. <laughs> this is all shit you would see in a movie, like exchanging yes. niggas. For, like, come on, son. Mm-hmm. While there's a war going on, while mm-hmm. monkey pox is in the air, mm-hmm. while they're having shootings at school. What the fuck is going on? There's too much happening. Like, please. The monkey pox, though, son. That's not coming to auntie. But I ain't... <laughs> Don't vaccine. I don't know nothing about no damn vaccines. What the hell I think about that at this point. I don't want to hear nothing about a vaccine for us, like no more for the rest of my life. Okay, but yeah, that shit. Y'all gotta broke. get y'all double booster shots. Oh, you're funny. Wow, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Listen, wait, wait. I think I seen Barbados letting people back in. Yeah, I saw that too. Okay. As long as you have negative COVID testing, you don't have to have a COVID vaccine. And if you have a COVID Vac- vaccine, you don't have to, to be. Go. Yeah, you don't have to um sh- take a test. Yeah, you VIP. Yeah. So shout out to Barbados, making it a little simpler for the folks who went and got their jab. Um, <laughs> but no man, like monkeypox. Nah, I'm not liking monkeypox. You saw the pictures that they've been posting. It's been all black people. And then, what was it, Kenya? Somebody over in Kenya decided to do it with a white man's picture. No. I was crying. I was like, yes, please. Because you know. They found a case in Broward. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> of course. Um, because Florida must in a case. Bruh. Like, oh, no, can I sit on? No, Florida need all. <laughs> Florida need all their moment. I can't. But I just feel like, you know, certain things that happen when it comes to diseases, I feel like they start with a certain group of people. Mm-mm. Because I just know that the other groups of people don't wow. go, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go ask me Don't go fast and don't go inquisitive to go find out what's what and go experiment with shit. Like, how you, how in a reach this song? What's your flavor? Like no man, Mm-mm. no the squirrels, honey. I don't know. <laughs> like how you how you get monkey pox? Um, doing too what? much. If you ask me, just develop out of nowhere. Just so no, hey, that shit ain't just come up out of nowhere. All this shit ain't just coming up out of nowhere. And the something if that's actually how it looks, it looked like when yours is muddy we get splashed by hot grease. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. I don't like that. I don't me want neither. That. So no. they got to figure that out and maybe yeah. put that one back in the laboratory. and, and They're trying to put us back on the uh, way. Damn, I don't yeah, want to say it. Back. Put that shit back and bring out that next something. Whatever the next surprise is. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and wrap this one up. It's because the, the war is being overlooked now or whatever is going on with the war. So I they're not bring shit. Them people just blew up some shit the other day. Uh-huh. That video was sickening. I had to rush up, blow up one of them building or whatever. That shit was insane. Yo, I, every time I go on social media, son, let me tell you, it's like, I'm in a bubble. I, see? I go on Twitter sometimes and I'm like, God. Oh, I'm late as hell. But or- I finally, um, the ensure challenge finally no. graced my um timeline. No, ma'am. I am disgusted. No. Nope. You know, dear ensure is. I am disgusted. That's like my timeline has been talking about it for weeks, and they're like, mm. "Oh no!" Like everybody upset about it, like disgusted. I'm like, "What y'all talking about?" I I haven't asked because sure. I'm like, mm. it sounds like something that I don't want to see because y'all just upset about it. I'm like trying to imagine what it could be, but never imagine that. Yep. I don't have nothing better for do. I don't just have money for that show. I just idle. Yes. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Jesus exactly. Christ. I don't know. Then burn this shit down. <laughs> Start Listen, again. What, what wash away no, everything. Morning, everything. Just wash away everything. Just you know. No, it's art this bitch. Jamaica is our next place again. To you know. No, it's art this bitch. Video from there that there Jamaica coming. I like what I going out there tonight. What am I do? First of all, what? Where are y'all all rushing to? May I? Can Who somebody are? tell me where everybody is rushing to make everybody a meet up in accident? Oh gosh! Oh, look here. Let me see if on the road. Like it's like everybody a rush go somewhere when they look accident, accident, accident. Some dung a gully, some wrap up in a pool. Like yeah, I saw that shit. That nigga drove off the side of the shit. Yo, I was like, what are you doing? Like yeah, you were driving like erratic to begin with, in. and then just 
And then Drop's gone. Said, I'm, I'm video with me I see too. I don't know. Ain't nothing I can say. Don't nobody listen to me anyway. I've been telling you how to drive safe, be safe all year. Mm-hmm. Take care of um, yourself and everything. I don't know, just you know, young, wild, and free. Young, wild, and too young, wild, and dead, bro. Stop, yo. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> at this rate, yeah, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But everybody's doing what they want to do, and we outside, and it's after COVID, and mm-hmm. yeah, everybody's anxious to go outside because summer are come and That's hot girl summer, exactly the three peat or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hoochie daddy shorts and all mm-hmm. that. You know With saying? the thigh muscles, I will have my hoochie daddy shorts on. Thanks. I'm just. <laughs> I bought some hoochie daddy shorts too. Or <laughs> who's hoochie daddy? For me, oh. I am the hoochie daddy. I mean, oh, hoochie daddy got you. Yo, your what list? What daddy with an eye got you? Mm-hmm. Got I got you. my daddy hat too ready. Go, oh, not the outfit. Oh my, I'm messing with you. Wow. I don't have a daddy hat. I just have a it's scully, a but I'm not wearing outfit. that in the middle of summer. My lord, you are funny. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> um. Yeah. What else we got on here? Oh, no. Nope. So, <laughs> honestly, no. No. Um, my timeline, because you know, I'd be following these women that like to do the um all natural things here and there, and you know, they want to mm-hmm. find holistic remedies the for whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what they call them the crunchy, crunchy, whatever the hell, crunchy, girls. crunchy for the stones. You know how the stones sound when they click like next to one another. They Somebody call, call crunchy, it crunchy, the girl. granola, crunchy, crunchy <laughs> granola. Some shit, some girl posted. And I was yeah. just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but mm, um, <laughs> I saw that they were um promoting <sighs> home remedies for Plan B, essentially, mm-hmm. and. I just want y'all to like be safe. Cause I come out here and I be talking shit and I'd be like, oh yeah, a little parsley help your pre read come and you know, da da da. But like, so the newest trending one is neem oil. Now, I'm familiar with it. It's just a natural oil. It's from like some kind of tree something, but it's, um, it's a natural oil. It smells very earthy. Okay. Um, and it's usually used as like a pesticide pretty much so like if you put it on like your plants it doesn't get like the little flies and stuff and like um pests or whatever Mm -hmm. but if you get like a more natural um version of because if you go to the store you can buy like the industrial kind to like spray your plants or whatever Mm -hmm. but if you um go for a more natural source you can use it for like your skin and here it helps with growth and all of that but um if you insert it Apparently, it's also a spermicide. Oh, my goodness. How and I'm going? just, you know. Friend. <laughs> oh, friend. <laughs> Trigger warning. Okay, for me. You know? Um, <laughs> you know, I just need y'all to be careful what y'all doing with y'all bodies. Make sure that if you decide you want to go this route, to make sure you are buying the one that is body safe. Mm-hmm. Because they have many different kinds. Like, and you might fuck around and find out something that ain't what you're trying to find out. So, because they're sitting there like, oh, yeah, you know, eat ginger, drink grapefruit juice, or eat grapefruits, and put parsley in your vagina. And, and I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God. you about to season Why up you the coochie. Like, that, like, y'all about to be well seasoned, and then... Not well seasoned. Hope you don't end up with other side effects, like... Mm, mesothelioma. Just... Yeah. Listen... <laughs> I'm like yeah, you're showing your age. Right? That's something. What girl? Whatever. Listen. The damn commercial at I'm ten o'clock bro- in the I'm morning when you stay at home from school. Grown ass woman. Okay. Listen. <laughs> but I ain't got mesothelioma though. <laughs> bitch. What the fuck is mesothelioma? <laughs> we all never know, do we? Whatever than them um Popeye chickens. Um, week. yo. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay. But yeah, honestly, all jokes aside, though, for real, for real. I understand nobody wants to have an unplanned pregnancy. I definitely understand. I get it. But they're right there with know. But I thought it was such a surprise. Like, we, I thought it was fun time. No? Minna no, no. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the way they, the way these people carry on. Listen. And don't do not, and just be out here raw, yeah. dog, and carry it on with themselves. All I'm going to say is, 
Good time. As a as a woman or a vagina carrying individual, if you are having oh, um sex with with the people who produce semen, um and you don't warning. sorry, 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 I forget you don't like that <laughs> word. If you're not trying to get pregnant, please don't leave it in their hands t- for you to not get pregnant. At the end literally, of the day, it's your body. Literally do not do that. It's 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 your body. It's your body. No matter how much you want to say it's yours, it's your body. Eh, 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 eh. Wait. <laughs> Make sure, say, if you don't want breed, you don't breed. Facts. And there's so many options for you to do this, okay? Like, but make sure you're practicing safe precautions. Like, you're doing it in a safe and sterile way. You don't want, you know, oh, I'm trying not to get pregnant. Next thing you know, your coochie just don't work no more. Like, well, make sure that, you know, you're doing the things that pussy, are necessary. Broken pussy. Ah, big up Issa Rae. Wow, wow. Oh, you're okay. looking at me like, no, you don't I've know never, pussy? I've never seen. Insecure? No. But it's funny because I know some girls that have a podcast called the Broken Pussy Podcast, and I'm guessing it might be inspired by that. Them PPS. Yeah, Broken but Pussy. But it's old, though. I don't know if it came out before. Or so she keep it from them? Well, somebody keep or it. it was or probably yeah, maybe around the same time. Too much. I don't know. But um, but yeah, I think they're across the pond. They're in England. Okay. Um, but Hello. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So make sure you're taking care of yourself, right. and you are in control and in charge of your reproductive organs, <laughs> because you know abortions are illegal in however many states plan what's going on with that that came and went what's going on well i shouldn't say it's illegal they came and swiped that shit out the way and they talking about it they kind of like oh this is an idea it's just like a bingo card like i don't know Mm -hmm. already it's like a bingo card everything happening how about that gas wow listen (laughs) how gas is going up listen gas gone back up another four somethings Mm, it's, looking like a, it's looking like a good old legs this summer, honey. Listen, yeah. may, I go, may I jump on the bus, y'all? Yeah? Bus stop there right, right outside. Leg, I feel me. Oh, leg, there, leg everywhere. Cause <laughs> I'm gonna get back in shape. Cause I'm gonna be on the bus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah man, yeah, it's not looking good. It's looking mm-hmm. like yo, but the way this is looking very like Uber liftish, low key. Like for some people, a lot. Because think about it, how much is going to take you to do this? And sometimes you don't even have to go too many places, right? Mm-hmm. Like if you going out and shit like and that, and then worry about parking. Would, that's what I'm saying. Whereas you would drive, and then you mm-hmm. would have to get gas to get there, and so I don't know. I see. I don't know. I smell a plot. But let me. Tell you. I'm trying to keep people in the house. But you know, certain states don't or care about the companies making money because that's of course going to happen. Yeah, so. of course, of course. It's a money thing at the, the end house, of the day. Though. Um, no, please do let some let these motherfuckers out, honey. Hmm. You see what Fuck. happened when you kept them in the house for so long? Fuck Ricky. Honestly. Um, so Yep. You wanna talk about this man and his cousin? No, son, wait. <laughs> Abraham? Mm. <laughs> um. My best friend. Abraham. Yeah. So my best friend. This for y'all who don't know, <laughs> here she goes. My best friend, you Lincoln Three Dot, is my best friend. Okay, and also a family rhyme, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not laugh off from a friend. No, Stephen, I'm not talk about you. That's so. Mm-mm. Ooh, I drew a bit of it anyway. <laughs> what do people them say? What them say? Cause now, cause I make good soup. I'm done. Forget it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> them said the pot done boil up already. Dumpling secondly already flavorful. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> I'm there for Yo, all long. The, the pot bubble up and nice. Mm. Well, I joke, I joke with it anyway. But um, <laughs> what happened? The so you, so wait, no 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 no. But listen, <laughs> child, one more clot, man. Listen, I'm <laughs> <laughs> stressed out you now. And I never mean I'm stressed out because yo, I start the ancestry on people for I know ya. Yeah, no, I need to do one for real. You think it's a fucking joke? <laughs> listen, I, I know you won. Me if you don't want to come, I'm not a, you know, I'm not a yeah. father there somewhere and I win. So I need, I need to do a very serious one. Because 
and then I might find some other siblings as well. So I really oh, need Jesus to wept. I hope not. Cause this is the thing. Cause I don't know. We just don't know. Could be oh bitch. All right. Let's do it. How much really? I don't even know. I'm gonna know in a how much fun. Like hundred dollars. Like Which one you want though? Twenty three on me. Don't they do the same thing? Like that an answer? Mm. I'd have to look and see which one is better. I'm gonna see order order today. Speaking of those things, um, you've seen you watched that show. Men ain't watching it. The watch our it. father thing. Hold on there. Oh, hundred dollar? That's not too bad. I thought so. That's what I said first. A hundred dollars. Two hundred and okay. what we had? Health and ancestry. What if I just want ancestry and traits alone? Is ninety nine dollar health and ancestry? But Jesus, I don't want holy money. Like you want to tell me my grand auntie had diabetes? Like I yeah, that. something so one ninety nine <laughs> for the health and ancestry. We just want to treat them on the ancestry. We don't need them only for something there. I assure you, you are not going to be able to find my family's 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 health records. I assure you. Listen, me just but know say on. high I'm blood pay, pressure. I'm pay 200 whatever dollars for you to tell me bullshit. Couldn't be fine. High bitch. blood pressure. Away next one name diabetes. Diabetes. That day in there already, so I'm gonna really, you know. Yeah, I just want. I think I just want the background part of it. Oh, they have ancestry versus twenty three. I mean, what you say? Which one come in? Which one is? Oh, oh, so they have somebody. Okay, so we're not the only ones trying to the see which saliva. One is and what you do? You just swipe your whatever, and your Senate go get them. Mm-hmm. Okay. I said 23 and me is a better choice. Unlike Ancestry, 23 and me does have FDA approved as a risk screener for a handful of genetic conditions and diseases. If you're primarily interested in DNA testing for this purpose, 23 and me is the better choice. The app tracked my samples journey to the lab and DNA extraction process. Okay. Which one is most accurate? What in terms saying? of best actionable test results with unmatched accuracy, the 23andMe health and ancestry test is hard to beat. Ancestry DNA available on Amazon and ancestry.com and MyHeritage DNA also offer incredibly accurate ethnicity and ancestry DNA kits. Um, all people so, are doing the two of them. All people doing them both? Mm-hmm. Well, for see comparison, for see which one say one rate it, eh, I guess. Okay, like, so what if one say you come from your son, the next one say you come from your son? Yeah, cause somebody right in there, why is something never match? <laughs> right. Why exactly. are my ancestry and 23 and me results different? Okay, uh, so it's like legit pick a side. Mm-hmm. Each testing company uses a different algorithm and different prefer- reference population item for where the world your DNA is from. But see a lot. I said 23 me is extremely confident in our results and are consistently ranked the most accurate DNA testing service by industry create trade groups. I guess. Go ahead and tell me I'm African and European because I know. Listen. <laughs> I do know. Damn, six to eight generations, around 150 to 200 years. My grandfather was what? What was he? Was he Swedish? A Swedish? Irish? Some white something up on grandma's exactly. side, so I family. It's like- Huh? I said on grandma's side with some white folks over there. So exactly, we have got to see. Got white cousins walking around till this day. <laughs> we have China cousin, every type, son. Like Chinese, Chinese. I don't know if you yep. ever seen my cousin Kristen. Chinese, like Ching Ching. Mm, last name is not even freeborn. So <laughs> one ewo, two ewo, like that. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Stop Bitch. it! Oh my god! <laughs> you spit up! Get your life together, nigga. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you going to hell? <laughs> no, not today. Um, so look, <laughs> like, no man, no. <laughs> Boy. Anyways, so back to what we were talking about, right? <laughs> so, um, for those of you who are unfamiliar and underwear, um, link on tree dot. Mm-hmm. Every gal man. <clears throat> um, Literally every girl. <laughs> Stop. Oh god. We're not supposed to be laughing about this. This is not funny. This is this is sad. Um Link on Tree that the artist was saying what you feel like. I saw a song, sir. I saw it go. I'm bang. Where you go? Bang. 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 I like that. Yeah. Um my best friend, my one-time best friend. Um, 
He used to date Star Dawkins with a sweet cookie wash. Shido, a cookie wash. What name? Something, some sweet yeah. something. Yeah, I think it's sweet cookie wash. Um, <sighs> they were such a pretty couple. You know, the two of them are nice to look at. Yep. And they were very freaky and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> very. Holy pot things drop up in that. Like y'all used they used to be out like and about like and she be half naked because she be she she our body look good so she you know she don't wear too much fabric and let me used to just dab out for what two three years yo um, smashing and dashing bro mm. <laughs> um <laughs> so oh, sorry. Mm. Wow. As the tale goes, <laughs> not even a tale, because she go up on here and... Family reunions are. <laughs> Bumba clot, yo. <laughs> yeah, so, fun. comes to find out, because she come on the air and, and decides that she want to tell them business. Um, the reason they broke up is because they found out that they're cousins. Not her sounding mad, though. Not her being mad, though. About it. Fuck Listen. sounding mad. She was definitely upset that he Listen. decided that after three years, cousin is not what him want to do. Sister. Like, and she what? sound like, you know, we already had it, so what's the difference now? Yeah. Sound like a Jerry episode. It sounds like... Like inbreeding, like no, no, not in. Whoa, very hills have eyes, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> like my thing also is how y'all didn't know y'all was cousins. They ain't know. What they did twenty three and me and realized that they itch up somewhere down the line I don't or even know. probably you know how it go after three years of being together. Like wait there, wait me know that girl and me know that little girl and wait y'all saw my saudata. Hmm. When our family, you know, like that, boom. Mm. You know, I've, <laughs> I've been around some things. I need to go do my ancestry because. Hey, brother. But then again, I haven't met any Jamaican folks that I want to spend time with. Um, damn sure Nobody. not I. Damn sure not me. I don't play with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I met a young well, lady that is Jamaican. Mm-hmm. Well, our papa, Ayadi. But um, ah. I guess the way the thing I go. But um, I'm always meeting people. Next week it's gonna be somebody else. I'll oh, no. be bored on this app. I really do. Oh my gosh! Delete but, that for one week. Okay, but the number still in iPhone already. Oh my god! <laughs> no new ones can enter. Yeah, I feel you. That's what I did with the um. What was it? Bumble or Black? Whichever ones I was on, Hinge, all of them. Hey, I want y'all Are to you know. Seeing some good-looking black people on black. I was before I deleted it in February. Yeah. Okay, I like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, but um, but there was also a lot of um riffraff. Not riffraff. <laughs> there, there was. I mean, think of where I'm located. So. Oh no, I would never. I thought that <laughs> only had the best of the best. The best. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, Mm-hmm. Some questionable people. Did that all, the, all the men in prison right now? So. Oh shit! <laughs> Listen, anyway. well, Atlanta, but um, <laughs> but yeah. So, so if you like, okay, friend, if you were in this situation, you would have done the relationship. If you find out that um your partner is your cousin after three years of being together, are you smoking dick, son? <laughs> <laughs> Like, what are you asking me? Nah, bro. Come on. Let's go to the left. Like, <laughs> like I look at you. You look at me. This never happened. We blink. Walk away. Goodbye. <laughs> and we probably don't need to talk for, like, another, like, five years. Oh, my god. Just to give it some time to settle. You know what I'm saying? Cause Three years? Y'all, like, well in love at this point. Like. <laughs> well, I'm well in love. Well in a lot of places. Like. <laughs> friend. Oof. Suppose they. Oh, man. Thank God. That rough. Like, no, yeah, really, really upset listen, in that moment, like everything that you can have possibly felt for me, anyway, that would have dashed away. Everything would just dash away. Like, it would just that be gone. like a flower just dying, and you would listen, honestly it would take me an hour, if that five minutes. Me, I vomit. 
Yeah, I would throw up like shit, and I would be like, well, this never happened. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm blocking you. Like, it's not your fault, but I'm going to block you. That's what I'm, I'm sorry. saying. I need, I need space. Yeah. I mean, uh, Maybe mm. for life. I don't know. But yeah, I, I can't look at you the same. Like, I can't look at you. Like, nigga, ew. Like, yeah, I can't look at you because, you know, I was looking at you in a lot of angles. And, yeah, uh, in a lot of ways. Bullshit. Positions. Oh, ah! Ugh. My cousin had me upside down. Boop, boop, oh, gosh. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Did you like? No. <laughs> mm, pineapples, and pineapples. Now they look each other in the eye. That is pineapple. Shit. Well, apparently she can because she really feel like them shit are still there. I like, like she girl. really. <sighs> I ain't even been on her Instagram to see if she was talking shit or if she was serious. She, really because because in her diary or her Tumblr she, or something. Yo, she ain't really have to say none of that shit. Yo, you ain't have to tell nobody that. Honestly. I would have said it. Ever. What? <laughs> you would have had to just think that I was the one that broke up with him because everybody. Yes. Because I know he probably like, bitch, you talk too much. Like. Got me out Did you see this video of this girl with the intro bottle, how the bottle got stuck in her teeth? Yup. And good for her. Just fucking idiot. They play too much. Play way too much. Like, Ooh, let me go boy. fast. Brandy, funny. That was funny. <laughs> Are she this? Yeah, she this, yes. She who? Star. Don't judge me. Honestly, what would you do if you was in a relationship for three years and find out it's your cousin? Breaking up <laughs> immediately. Like, what the fuck? There is no question. Somebody it never said, happened. Should be crazy. Even our national hero, Norman Manley, married his cousin. Okay, like hell. Listen. Okay. I would still be with my cousin because ain't no way we can take away all that shit we did. Y'all don't come for me. Girl, y'all is mm-hmm. nasty. Well. Yeah. Remember just said, listen, we did it. It's done. Let's keep doing. Because. <laughs> Somebody said, yeah, some stuff you got to take to the grave. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, somebody said, but what number cousin though? <laughs> Yeah, are, not, 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 <laughs> not, like, are they, like, first you know cousin, these, second like, cousin? For, what is, wait, I feel I don't know. for asking this, and I've asked this before. What, what do they mean when they be, like, twice removed and shit? What that mean? Is that, like, y'all was married and divorced? Let me see. Oh, is cousin, that what that is? Men no, cousin what the fuck is removed. Twice removed. Yeah, I gotta move around with that. Cousin removed get... meaning. What that mean? Removed means a different generation. When cousins are in different generations than each other, we say they're removed. No, it's we like, don't. Removed is like grand and great, but with cousins. Girl, okay, so or, grand and great does us just fine. That's why. That's why people shit. Once removed means a different one of one generation. Twice removed means a different. Okay, so then my mother cousin would be my cousin once removed. I don't have that. Don't sound it. good. It sounds. It sounds. Second great cousin to say works my second for me. Cousin, exactly. Yeah. Is that by Watts? Twice removed means that there's two generation difference between a cousin you and. Is that by the Watts? Yes. Maybe. I don't know, I know. I'm still trying to read. Your grandparents' cousins heard, are first cousins, twice removed, and would share with a bum. Yeah, exactly. So it's not us. Next. Mm-mm. I've never heard no black. Oh, shit. There's a, there's a graph. There's a, there's a picture thing. Hold on. I like pictures. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, Ebla Maria. Ebla Maria of Pickney. Okay. Right? Abel and Maria. Abel and Maria. I hear you. Abel and Maria. Siblings. Okay. Abel and Maria. Grand Pickney. Our first cousin. Mm-hmm. Abel and Maria. Great Grand Pickney. Our second cousin. So which part of remove? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Plot. Remove this from your mind and let's move along because <laughs> I don't get it either. And I'm not, but I yes, just... that's a good question though. Which which number cousin? God. Somebody said that's the real question. It can't work. There's country obviously states. It's not, it's obviously not the first. Um, oh, it's just for, oh, you're so sure. No, but, no listen, listen. There, the fact that she said. Nobody know that don't make no sense. We used to play Dolly House. Um, with, okay. Wow. Wow. I see a, there's a lot going on in the world today. <laughs> okay. Hey, somebody in the comments go and it said, Middle that wait, Panarfa said that. So, first cousin, a direct auntie, and uncle Pitney. So, all oh, them never know that. Them never meet family during day in. No, sir, this serious because Lincoln and Star are some pawn star. No. <laughs> they, they aren't in Uncle Pitney? Yeah. That's not, no, that's what they were saying. Like, first cousin would be your aunt's and uncle's yeah, child. That's uncle Pitney, yeah. Somebody okay. say, if it's not first cousin, they don't count. Wow. <clears throat> oh. 
<laughs> they really want to know which which number because it's <laughs> because you know that matters big time yo nope I don't know the world has gone mad honestly she really was upset though she like really was upset word, dog. she could have because if never said nothing about it yeah imagine how him feel about it though like you're sitting there minding your business then next you know your phone probably blowing up like yo star your cousin excuse me what you ain't see um i had went by his um instagram last night i believe or today something like that and he had um took a screenshot of a message that somebody sent to him and somebody called my family rob <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if I find, <laughs> if I said if I found out we were cousins after three years, it don't make sense. We we'll start the chicken foot done season and a dumpling done roll. Yo, the soup! I tell you about the soup. And then she gonna post it to her story and say y'all nasty. But so were you joking? <laughs> you was nasty for three years. What we talking about, girl? Mm mm. They got it. Nothing else, no. I don't think nothing else happening. <sighs> I don't think so, you know. Hmm. Yeah. I'm mean, not sure if anything. I'm mean, not really remember nothing else. And even if I do, probably blocked it out because it's probably, probably more negative shooting, anyway. probably more fuckery. That's what I'm saying. It's probably negative anyway, and I probably just blocked it out. Yes. So, as I always say to y'all, though, be safe, man. It's getting warmer. Mm-hmm. Watch how you drive in. Watch your surroundings, women's. Please watch your surroundings. I mean, if you could, you know, carry your thing, carry your thing. Be safe. Hold on, I Is think like I that? saw the post that you're talking about. Which Somebody commented on his thing and said, "Lol, ah, oh, so soup. I mean, cute." It's what is this? Oh, I do love this song. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. Look at They this are girl. wicked of all the songs. Girl. They are wicked. I love that song though. <laughs> that wickedy. Yo. Yo. I, yo. Yes. You yes. can't do nothing in her. Can't no. do nothing. Wow. Can you have anything else for telling people that I'm saying at night? Eh? Um. I'm sorry. This <laughs> Let me come off my man page, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna bed. Fuck her, I keep. Um, let me see. I'm checking on my notes and see if I have nothing else right down. This nigga. Um, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No, that done. That gone. Okay, um, well, while she hello. Listen, no, Go ahead, no. Bro. Listen, you said your aunt listened to the podcast. I told her about it. Yes, I told her about it. So she oh. said she was gonna go. Why? Okay. Why? Listen, why you ask me that? Because I was thinking about if my cousin listens to the episode or mm-hmm. the podcast in general, I'm just like, listen, at the end of the day, me a big woman and I, me one pay my rent. So I mean, my auntie don't me. I'm always me. <laughs> I mean, no, so, it's all good here. What you going to do? Are you offended? You gotta put that shit in the suggestion box. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, I don't subscribe to the newsletter um yes. okay like, anyways yeah. <laughs> um you had something else you wanted to add on me mm, no be safe i don't know. yeah Th- that's it time. in all yeah, aspects listen duck and roll tuck and roll whatever you got to do be that's safe stay aware please too please be yes aware, aware of your surroundings it's not even oh like it's do or die at this point, y'all. For real, for real. Like, speaking of, alert, man. Speaking of staying alert, um, what? so the party we went to the other day, I have to talk about this just on the simple fact of, I wasn't there. Go ahead. I love how black people who are aware see some shit, or even if they don't see some shit, they see other black people running, they up and running too, because obviously something that I keep. That caused you to run because I was at a party that got shot up, right? But I low key feel like pause, pause. There is no reason that you had to say that like that. There's just no reason. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Try again. 
there was shooting at the event that I attended over the weekend. I like that sounds way too good. Go ahead, now. <laughs> but um, when everything like, well, thankfully, uh, it's nothing thankful about it. But honestly, it didn't. They didn't start shooting until basically the last ten minutes of the party. It was supposed to have done two thirty between two twenty and two thirty when shots rang out. But before the shooting start, people start spread out like run. Like I was. I don't remember what I was doing, but I was in the back chilling, like, whatever. I think I was probably getting my stuff together because I figured it was going to be done soon anyways. And I'm thinking about, like, going back to the car and Ray Tay Tay, whatever. I look up. I don't know if I heard somebody scream or what. It was such a blur. Everything happened so fast. I hate saying that, but literally. I look up, and when I said everybody just had run, I was like, what the fuck? And then, like, I was in the back, so, like, people were running towards us. Listen, me and I feel like so we like get stampeded in a two second, like, and then like everybody was ducking, and by the time we all got down and people cleared it or whatever, then we heard shots fire out, and I was like, the fuck? I just, somebody saw the gun obviously before they started shooting. Why everybody started running? Mm-hmm. And shout out to whoever those people are, <laughs> because who knows how many people would have gotten shot? I haven't heard anything officially. Yeah. About if anyone was injured or shot or whatever. I just know I got a bruise on my leg because Nai Nai had me doing hurdles out of them people event. Back. In my platform sandals. We were... <laughs> I'm glad I didn't bring my regular cooler that I bring to Fetch. I brought my cooler bag. Yeah, I like a good cooler bag. That's perfect so, for your personal. Exactly. I did that one. He blew, yo, drunk. Listen, okay. Got my little, <laughs> my little cooler bag, and we foot it. Jumping over people, jump over barricade, jump over this. I run. I'm going oh, Jesus Christ. We're glad some of that shit, but we can still get what we need for get when time need for running now. Cause... Okay, girl. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, Shots yeah. Not Y'all even. run Saturday? <laughs> I might be, but we don't know about who else I run. Anyway. Oh, the shade of it all. The shade of it all. Big up Shaka Nunus. Yeah. What Big up yourself, yeah? Yeah, she. Shaka Nunus. Um, yeah. Go let's on. see if she make it to the race this time. Moa, no. Well, one, no. But just be aware, like you said, be aware of your surroundings. Like, Please. be mindful of different energies in your space right. Right. nobody's <laughs> saying like don't go out and have a good time yeah, and live just, your life a little bit what be just in your cars when you're going out mm-hmm. when you're with your homegirls when you're with your family shit anything as y'all can see at the grocery store even at the grocery store i'm sorry we gotta do it but it is what it is like mm-hmm. just be alert and know where the exit is at and everywhere you go mm-hmm. that's just us though like how we set up where we Listen. go Listen, the way our backs be set up so we can see what the I hell move going on. Like like a wanted drug dealer. Okay, that's Bro. how I move. Like a wanted drug kingpin. Okay? Facts. Minus the security guards. Facts. You know what I hate? Hmm. When, like, some places when you go, like, your back got to be against the glass. I hate that uh-uh. shit. I'm going to like that. Nope. Mm-mm. I need a sturdy wall. <laughs> nope. Facts. But, yeah. Um, and, and put my back in the wall right here. Yeah. Behind like, me. Nobody yeah. can't see me when we can't see that's it but um yeah make sure y'all you know take care of each other and whatever take care of yourself make sure to be it if i get hot here go jerry if i get hot with the closure (laughs) make sure on a beard it is getting hot i say it again make sure on a beard so that one to a week ain't cutting it it is getting hot one to a week is not cutting it (laughs) like we're gonna need mm -mm. you to step it up girls (laughs) like okay just step it up just a little it's bit been, it's been in the 80s and it's not summer yet so do actually it was in the 90s the other day so do me I beg on you, please my nose can't handle it because if oh we can't God. smell you through the mask Jesus Christ already no I'm gonna be but yeah other than that you know take care of yourselves and each other yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Yeah. make sure y'all subscribe to the pointless talks podcast on all of the streaming platforms yeah, make sure you follow us on the social media outlets we are on twitter instagram facebook you can check us out on pointlesstalks.com subscribe to our newsletter i wasn't talking shit there is a newsletter subscribe to it um <laughs> while you're over there make sure you Go buy you a craft, you know, mm-hmm. get you an ashtray, get a sticker, a magnet, a keychain, a rolling Walla. tray, Walla. a little grinder, incense holder, you know, 
things. A little grinder. A little one. A little one. I ain't got the big ones. I gotta get the big ones. It's, it is a little, a little one them, you know? Like, oh, it's the okay. size of like, you know, yeah, American. I thought it was like how women, they be like, you're a little this. No, no, no. It's a little one. Like it's a little for true. Okay. No, a little for true. Now my outfit little? Wait, Yeah. Um, to keep up with us and what we're carrying on with, but not really. If you just want to see the fuck we we'll post, you can follow um Dem Sugar on Instagram at Dem Sugar underscore, or on Twitter Lion Young V, or myself Pointless Talks. Cause you know if if you know what honestly, if you no know one follow me for fuckery on Twitter, you can't follow my on my my Twitter. It's just pointless. Just pointless. Honestly. Honestly, just take off the talks. Pointless. If you want to keep up with fuckery, it's public. It did it. Say hi. I'm not gonna bite, you know? Um, <laughs> and I mean, unless you want that, but you know, and you're eligible. Please. Please. Anyhow, Please. Uh, <laughs> Please. Uh, that's the tequila talking. See the cup done now? Wow, done. that's crazy. It suddenly looks like time to go. Mm. Well, peace <laughs> and love you. <laughs> Just like everything we do at Pointless Talks, <laughs> whether <laughs> don't do me that. Whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so so much for listening to this episode of Pointless Talks. Peace. Bye.